Hey there, Linux gamers. Grab your snacks and your best game face, because today we're jumping into the wacky world of doodlings. Imagine foosball, but with a twist. This entertaining pick it up and play game, it was quite the surprise. For more than one reason. One reason is that one of our beloved Linux YouTubers is the developer of this game. If you're not familiar with the Linux gamer, aka Gardner Bryant, he has been working on this game for quite a while now. I highly recommend that you check out his channel. It's awesome to see games written by Linux gamers for Linux gamers. The other surprise was just how addicting it is to play this game. And finally, this game was written in Godot, which some of you may know is my favorite game engine. Since it's easy to pick up this game and play it for a quick round, I find myself reaching for my Steam Deck and playing this game in between other projects or during short periods of downtime. It has never disappointed me and has been a great distraction when I needed it. The gameplay is simple. There is a row of players and you can control any of them using your controller's right and left buttons to select the player you want to control. You can either punch the player next to you, which disables them for a second or two, or launch the player up to hit the ball. In the default play mode, the goal is to knock the ball into the goal, and the first team to score 10 goals is the winner. There are a total of three game modes in Doodlings, and each offers its own twist on the foosball play styles. I found that I really enjoyed the classic game style, but also enjoyed playing the other modes, which includes basket mode, which is more like a basketball style game, where there is only one goal and both teams try to score in that one goal, and volley, which keeps each team on their side of the net like a volleyball game. Doodlings does support two players, but I have yet to play with two players on it, so I can't really comment on that. I am finding that the AI is actually pretty challenging. Even on the beginner AI, I find that I win about 50% of the time. But I am getting better, and winning more often. The soundtrack was produced by another team called The Brothers Nylon. I had not heard of them, but man, their stuff is really good. You can download the soundtrack separate from the game and give it a listen. It's available on Steam and itch.io. Links below. My final thoughts on this game is that I'm really glad that it came out. It plays really well on desktop and it plays almost like it was meant to be for Steam Deck, which doesn't surprise me considering he developed the game. I actually think Gardner should release this game for mobile devices too. This would be a fun game to play on a phone or a mobile device. Could it be the next Slappy Bird? Maybe. It's pretty fun, it's addicting, and it's simple. And sometimes that's all you need in a game is simplicity. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have played this game, or are interested in playing it, post a comment below. I would love to hear what you think about it. Have a great day.